Evolution. Without it, we would all still be puddles of protozoic ooze. Evolution is a rule of survival for all living things. Take away evolution and we wouldn't have opposable thumbs to use tools, or brains to create the fire from two sticks of wood. Without evolution, we'd stand still and die. And this is no different for the biggest and the baddest of the world's car companies. Ferrari. And now, I want all of you to meet badass extraordinaire and a good friend of mine, Mr. David Lee. David was kind enough to really uh, make my dream come true, so we've been doing all of this Thanks to him. You made my dream come true too. No, uh, yeah. thank you, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> How did the whole thing come up? Three years ago, I had an idea to sell my cars. Say, okay, well, I'm gonna go with a strategy of only collecting Ferraris, only driving Ferraris, and driving Ferraris seven days a week. And so I just started to do that. That's not a bad life, I'd say. Manual or automatic? I, I'm a manual guy. You're a manual, manual guy. guy. I, still, I still feel more comfortable with manual. So you came with some cojones, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Once I got in the left Ferrari and I was driving the paddle shift, I was like, oh, this is so nice. I don't oh. have to worry about anything. <laughs> We're going to cut that out, by the way. <laughs> analog steering or power steering? The analog steering. You like it? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do like it. You feel the road. So. Blood or oil? <laughs> oil. <laughs> oil! What car do you like the most? Uh, the LaFerrari. Ah, oh, that was quick. All right, we we'll give it to you. What do you like about the LaFerrari the most? It has all the qualities of the other four in combined to one. And of course, the newest performance. I'm going to have to agree with you on that one because I just drove them all. Thank you again. Well, well thank you for switching <laughs> the tires that I never would do on my own, but okay. Out of all of these, what about the old ones, the analog ones? Favorite yeah. of the three? Uh, I would say the GTO because I grew up and in, in high school, the first supercar for uh, Ferrari. And it was that, that moment that really captured me. Just being here at Thermal with you, being able to do this, I, I cannot tell you thank you enough. Is there anything you want to say before you go to people that are aspiring to one day own these cars? Owning the Ferraris and all the toys is fun, but that's not all what life is about. You want to work hard uh, and you want to enjoy yourself, but you got to remember to help other people. Damn, he's a better man than I am. <laughs> With better no. cars than I have. <laughs> thank you so much, David. Thanks, I really bro. appreciate it, brother. No, this means a lot to me. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank, thank you. you. Now thank let's you. go have some fun. Let's go. Fuck this. <laughs> Normally we would end the video right here and say thank you very much, we're done. But this is not a normal video. We've been talking about Ferrari's evolution today. So why don't we just put that evolution to the test on the track on a traditional drag race. Let's do this. And first up is a battle of the two turbocharged Ferraris. The F40 against the 288 GTO. Let's see what evolution looks like on the track. And now the Ferrari Enzo will face off against the Ferrari F50 for the battle of the V12s. Our previous winners are going to face each other, the Ferrari Enzo against the F4. For our last race, the Enzo takes on the pinnacle of Ferrari's evolution, the best of them all, the one to beat, the LaFerrari. While the Enzo remains one of the most awesome machines ever created, the question here is, does it have what it takes to stand up against the LaFerrari? There's only one way to find out, so let's do it. 
this was. I don't think I'll ever forget it. Ever since I remember, Ferrari has been number one in the top of the game. And 30 years later, that still remains. And I think Ferrari is still there because of the evolution we just witnessed right now. They keep moving forward. They're not stopping. They keep evolving. Ferrari's more than just cars. There's their F1 heroes. There's their designer heroes. He provides inspiration to those future generations that want something, that have a dream, want to accomplish it, so they can afford one of these at some point, just like this kid did. For now, I leave you with that, and I'm out. God, I hope no one sees me pull away in this minivan. Ugh, people are gonna grill me for this. And this is not the first time I'm driving a minivan, sadly.